Yes, I'm John Prest and I'm the creative director here at Seed. Evening. Beatles. Motown. Seed creativity. Mac. Guts. Illustration. Beer. Movies. I want to say club in, but it's, it's got to be get togethers. To be a creative director, you're responsible for the whole life cycle of a creative project. So creative projects changed, it could be a production of a website, it could be creating a short film or animation, um, or it could be a full integrated campaign, which is all of the above. So from the right from the beginning, when you're working on the brief or you're liaising with the client, um, working with your design team or your production team, and then delivering um, the project or the product uh, and getting feedback from it and making sure everything ran smoothly on budget. So Seed is broken into two key areas. Obviously we're a creative agency. I think most people know us for the creative agency. And um, over the last ooh, five years, we've developed our creative academy. So the agency, we're full service. We did start off as mainly just design and then we moved into video. And now we're a fully um, integrated uh, agency. And we work on lots of different things from websites to short videos um, to full marketing campaigns. The Academy, the main area of training is based around creative enterprise and digital marketing, um, but creative media, I suppose, is at the heart of everything that we do. I've always known that I wanted to be involved, especially in art direction, since I was a kid because I love coming up with ideas. Um, I loved solving problems with creativity. Um, and I come from a, a graphic design background, so I've always been very visual. I think a lot of the creative directors that I know from other agencies come from a, a design background as well. I suppose the biggest challenge of being a creative director is that you need to understand all facets of design and production and the whole creative process. So it's not just about understanding what looks good in terms of design, in terms of a good photo shoot, or in terms of creating really nice visual design. You need to understand how websites function, how they work, how, they, how you build them. You need to understand how to produce a video from storyboarding to writing treatments and you need to understand how they all work together so if it's a fully integrated project which is a, a launch of a new brand or it's a launch of a new product you need to understand how all the cogs work in the machine um, and how individuals work as well so working with different designers working with different producers and obviously the client can be quite tricky business My degree was in design management. So it was kind of learning the business side of design. So it was from understanding a brief and, and um, how to understand how a design project works and how it's delivered. So I learned that quite early on in my, in my education, but I didn't really specialize in anything at that point. So after university, I then specialized in graphic design. Um, and then I became a freelance graphic designer for five years. And in that period, I worked in lots of different industries. So I worked in fashion, I worked in publishing. And I suppose it was those, that was, that was the time where I started realizing that I wanted to be part of the bigger picture and not just a cog or just a designer. Um, I wanted to be part of the, the whole system of a, of a, a creative project. I started working in publishing in 2008. I was a chief editor of a, a magazine um, and in that period that's when we started taking on creative projects and became the business then turned into a creative agency um, and it was really because I was working with a big network of illustrators and designers and producers I kind of then fell into that role um, but it was something I, I knew that I wanted to do and something that I really really enjoyed as well. College, leader, producing, talks, classrooms, 
Why not? Old school. Friday night. Branson. Chris Gray. Musk. I'm going to be loyal to the Fiesta. The thing I love the most is the reason why I, I do the job is I love it when the brief comes in, when the problem comes in, and then how do I come up with a solution? So the thing with, with what I do, and I'm sure it's different for other creative directors, is that every single job is completely different. So I've never had the same brief twice. So it could be we're launching a new product or we want to build a new website. Um, or we just have this issue where we just want to get more people to an event or we want to get more traffic to a website. And then it's kind of like you get a sinking feeling at that point, or I do anyway, and think, oh my God, how am I going to do this? How is this going to work? And then you go away and then you can start to put the puzzle together, um, the jigsaw puzzle. You know, you start to think, well, you start to think about the customer, you start to think about what the outcome needs to be and what the client wants. Um, and then you can start getting creative and start piecing that together. I think that process of being coming up with a solution to their problem is the thing that I love the most. At the moment, I'm really into 80s and 90s graphics. I don't know why. It's something I've been looking at now for about three years. Um, anything from like Memphis pop style artwork to um, late 80s rave flyers and um, I'm looking at really bad early website design because it's that bad it's good. Um, I suppose if you're looking at trends you do tend to sort of flow between 20 years, 30 year trends that come that come around. And I think 90s at the moment is something that's um, it's quite popular in terms of things like Vaporwave and 8-bit is quite you know, popular. Um, so that's something I'm looking at at the moment. That kind of style of artwork is quite influential for me. Um, whether it be just through illustration and graphics, but also the music as well. Music obviously plays a big part in my life. Just being around creative people, like a lot of people that work in the studio, a lot of my friends, family, you know, they're really passionate and about what they do and they're really always out there hungry for new styles and new influences and I, and I, kind, of, I kind of feed off that quite a lot. I think it's important to specialise first. So whether you're a designer or an illustrator or you're a, um, a, a film producer, whatever it is you want to do, get, get really passionate and, and get really skillful in your area of ex expertise. I think that's really important. Um, if you want to move into creative direction, I think you need to then generalise and, and broaden your skill set in lots of different areas, whether it be digital, um, websites, video production, design, you know, you really need to understand how the whole machine works. That's really important. You have to want to learn and learn new techniques and new production processes. And you really need to understand how the whole, the whole journey works from an idea to the final commercial product.